I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw milk and cookies for Santa. We're going to start way over here on the right hand side and right about here we're just going to put a dot and from that dot we're going to draw a flat oval. On the left hand side we're going to draw a straight line down. We're going to leave it floating. On the right hand side we're going to draw a straight line down and leave it floating. We're going to come back over here to the left and we're just going to draw a slightly curved line up and connect. Now this project has a lot of overlaps so follow the best you can. Right here where this opening is we're just going to draw curve line in, curve line out. Come back to the top, curve line out, 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 in. Come back to the right or the bottom curve line in, out, in, out, in, connect. Now we go back over to this space right about here we draw a little straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, connect. Come all the way up to the top and we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect. Inside we're going to draw a skinny mini mimic line all the way around our space. Then we're going to put some dots. Now we're going to have a lot of overlaps, a lot of things that are going to be floating, but you'll get it. Now come over here, right about there, put a, put a dot straight diagonal down, straight diagonal out, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal down, bam, it crashes into there, don't draw through your drawing. Come back up here to the dot, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal out, straight diagonal in, straight diagonal down, keep going, keep going, little straight diagonal up. On this one we're going to draw a wavy wavy line and we get down to the bottom. Don't draw through your drawing. When you can't go any further, stop. Inside little baby circles, little baby circles. And we're all going to have a different amount because we all draw differently. Now come over here about there, put a dot, and we're going to draw a curve line down, straight diagonal out, jump over, curve line, bam, it crashes into that, just leave it alone, come back to our dot, curve line down, straight diagonal out, curve line in, straight diagonal down, curve line, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, curve line and bam it crashes into that. Just let it stay there. On this one we're going to draw a wavy wavy line inside all the way down and around. You stop when you can't go any further like right here. Come back up, wavy line, wavy line, jump over, wavy line and leave it alone. Come over here, dot, dot, curve line. Okay. Now come down over here and we're going to draw curve line, curve line, wavy line inside, baby circles, baby circle, baby circle. Now you can add more cookies if you want. But I'm going to stop here because I'm going to draw the plate. So I come back over here. Let's do it about midpoint and we're just going to draw a curve line all the way down 
around off the page. Let's mimic that line again. Curve line all the way around, down, off the page. Then you look at it and you go, okay, this should go mm, right about here off the page. There's the other part. Now come down. It should come up all the way. There we go. All right. Now I come over here and I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line, but it crashes into that. That's okay. Straight line over, straight line down. Inside, I'm going to write for Santa. Exclamation point and a heart. Now, I'm going to draw dotted lines around the border to finish off my edges and give this a little bit of a holiday look. Dotted line is the easiest border you can draw all the way down, all the way over. Okay? All right, let's see how we're gonna color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna color in is my gingerbread man. So I'm gonna take brown, jump over, and color this in brown. Loop-de-loop -loop it so it's got a little bit of texture going on there. All the way down, and all the way around. Now, everybody's is going to look a little bit different because we all draw differently. Some of them are going to be bigger, some of them are going to be smaller. It's okay. Tis the season. Okay. So there is my gingerbread man. Next, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to color this space pink. Okay. And I'm going to put a light pink straight line. And then I'm going to come back in with my green and color in my little baby circles. Now, you can decorate and color all of these differently. This is just what I did. I'm going to color my tree green. You know, and this is when, if you've got silver markers, that would be at the very end, but you could definitely put some color on there. There's my Christmas tree. And I'm going to take green little straight lines and put them in between my star, which is going to have red dots all the way. And I'm going to color the outside part of my plate green. And again, you guys can all choose your own colors. This is what I chose. And I'm going to do the inside of my plate blue-green. A light loop-de-loop -loop just to give some pop color to the background of all these cookies. Okay. And I made my plate a little bit too big on this one, but you'll see it on the sample. There's no mistakes in art. It all works. Then, I'm going to take my pink, color in my heart for Santa. Put some yellow straight lines on my card for Santa. And then the last part, I'm going to take my brown and color totally around everything. This might take a while. So what I always suggest, first off, if your hand starts hurting, you know you're coloring too hard. Second of all, you can always draw first in session one, and then in session two, 
which could even be the same day just with some time in between come back and finish coloring okay as always you will do a way better job than me but this is the general idea okay all right so let's see what this looks like all colored in Okay, here are my milk and cookies for Santa. Okay, bye-bye.